what's going on, Beowulf Nation. <laughs> it's I'm Beowulf, back at it with another video. And I got Pike, look at Pike's but Pike's like, hey, we're going on a road trip. All right, so it's just a lot to talk about. So, um, yeah, right now I got all my stuff packed and I got my dogs with me. Um, and the, where I'm heading is to the Midwest, to the Chicago and area, uh, and I got my 2017 Kawasaki SXR 1500 stand up in the back, pulling it. Um, and uh, why I'm making this trip? Well, two things. First, it's gonna be nice practicing these turns and ripping around, learning this stand up, where I don't have to worry about poisonous snakes. Well, there are poisonous things where I'm going, but not as, like, not crazy stuff. Uh, when it, there's no alligators unless somebody lets their pet go. And, uh, well, there is bull sharks because they do catch baby bull sharks in Lake Michigan and they do travel up the Mississippi River uh, as far as Minnesota. But where I'm heading, there is no sharks. So it's going to be nice of going somewhere where something is not going to eat me while being in the water um, and just kind of practice. So where I'm going to ride is at Lake Geneva in Wisconsin. May I recall there was another lake when I had my Sea-Doo Speedster 150 Supercharged 2012 boat. That's why I won and the Chain of Lakes. So I'm going to go somewhere in the Chain of Lakes. Um, short trip. And uh, another reason why I'm taking this trip is where I live, um, there's massive flooding. The, the river's all flooded. The intercoastal waterways flooded. So and it's raining every single day here. And it's crazy, it's been cold for the last couple of days too. Summertime, it's like blazing hot. It's not been blazing hot. So I figured, you know, what the heck, uh, let's make this trip. My mom just had shoulder surgery uh, like a week or two ago, I think it's two weeks ago. And then it's Father's Day coming up. So I figured like, hey, I go see my parents. They live in the Midwest. And uh, plus too, it's a better deal with hauling my dogs with to go somewhere where, you know, like there's somebody there, not asking them to take care of the dogs, but where it's easier than renting a place and going somewhere. Because with this whole coronavirus, it's it's crazy where I'm heading, Cook County, uh, they don't live in Cook County, but my dad works in Cook County and is a doctor. And they got almost 90,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus. And I think in that South Carolina, we're up to, uh, well, no, we are pretty high. We're almost to a, a thousand in Horry County uh, with all the tourists coming so it's really it's been crazy like almost every restaurant uh has to shut down in myrtle beach because all these people are testing positive working there because of the whole coronavirus uh spreading so i figure like hey we got flooding you know there's there's one spot to ride but you, they also do the coast guard and the dnr for south carolina there's no wake zone so just be like if I could ride in this one spot, it'd be like riding in this little teeny area. And I figure you guys would be pretty bored. I know a lot of people want to see me ripping this stand up. And I just like to go somewhere where like, I don't have to worry about someone eating me. And I could sit there and learn the inner secrets of messing around with the thing. So that's what my plan is for uh, two days of riding. And I plan on riding like all day long. Like this is the, this is the, like the training mode. Like when you see a Rocky movie and Rocky goes to Russia and he's, He's a living like, go somewhere to like train. It's, I'm going to train, but I don't have to worry about somewhere eating me. Uh, and then the crazy thing too, with this flooding, uh, my mom sent me the link and I was like crazy. So Socrates, that's the main area where you see most of the videos me launching at, which is considered Myrtle Beach, but the town's kind of considered Socrates, right? And that's a, like I said in past videos where I almost bought a house uh, near the water there that was gone underwater multiple times. And that's an area where it's the most flooded. So there's some boat causing a wake and some homeowner, you know, if you guys, I think where it's at is, you know, when you've seen the videos where I showed you guys that silhouette of that uh, target out in the water across from those homes, I'm thinking that's where it's at, but I'm not sure. But I guess this guy started shooting the gun in front of the bow of the boat. And if you're not familiar with what the bow of the boat is, that's the front of the boat. So when the person's driving down the river and causing a wake, guys just start shooting at them that's how crazy it is it's so like i 
I don't agree with that, but it is, you know, these people, I've seen all these videos, they're blasting through these no wake zones, and, you know, these homes are already all under water and stuff like that, and you got everything going on in the world. The last thing when is your house, you're on an island, your home, so. Yeah, that's crazy. When I saw that, I'm like, whoa, man, this is a whole nother next level. And uh, you gotta be careful when you're on the water. That's why I'm always has armed with something, either a knife or I bring my Glock with uh, when I go riding for that kind of reason, because it's kind of crazy. You don't know what's going through somebody's head. But the other cool thing, um, well, two things, a sad thing and a good thing. So we'll talk about the bad thing and the good thing. So if you guys haven't seen past videos, Leo, my German Shepherd, he died a couple days after Memorial Day. That's like just crazy. I'm the dog was like less than six years old, completely trained dog for uh, like police style training. What this dog had, you know, like home protection and whatnot. He would say like, "What is that?" And the dog would be like, flip a switch and being like complete psycho, ready to like rip somebody's head off mode. And uh, my bull terriers are good watchdogs but they don't you don't say what is this and the dog's like freaking out already in a bark and way before if you haven't seen my other two bull terriers cash and pike are bull terriers and i saw this person listing a bull terrier puppies for sale and i put a deposit on a bull terrier puppy like five six five i think five weeks before leo died um so i've seen this puppy when it was like like photos when the puppy before it had its eyes open. Puppies don't open their eyes until they're two weeks old. So this puppy was like tiny, just born. And um, if you haven't seen past videos I've talked about it, is I had an all white bull terrier I used to go in my Speedster 150 supercharged boat with all the time. The dog was crazy, put his paws up. He just was a, like a speed freak. Similar like Cash and Pike, but Willie, his name was General Willie Pat. Willie was crazy. Just crazy. He, he loves speed, he put his paws up, and he wasn't scared at all to go on that boat, jump it high and all that. So, I picked up an all-white Bull Terrier puppy that's renamed General Willie Patton, because Willie doesn't exist anymore, and uh, he's the next the next generation of Willie, uh, General Willie, so we can call him the General, we can call him Willie, we can call him Patton, and if you aren't familiar, General Patton in World War II he owned a bunch of bull terriers, but he had Willie, and Willie went to when they were in a war in Europe and all that. Willie was there, and then General Patton, and when he died, the dog wasn't with him, but it was still overseas. And uh, uh, when General Patton died, a week later, when the dog went back home to where his uh, General Patton's family lived, the dog died within a week, uh, just missing uh, General Patton so much, Willie. So, uh, are you guys ready to meet the the sleeping General Willie Patton. So here is Willie, the General, sleeping. Yeah, it's a good thing he's quiet. He's been, he's been a little, a little hard. He doesn't like staying in his cage at night when he's sleeping. He's been screaming. It's a good thing. Is hopefully he sleeps a lot. Uh, and Willie is going on seven weeks old. So he's a teeny little guy. His ears are st like they're in the halfway point of lifting up. And then we got. Uh, we have pikes, and it's somewhere in the back. I cannot see. There's uh, cash, and then I got my whole back just loaded up with stuff. Um, yeah, so picked him up, and uh, it's cool to have an, a bull terrier puppy again. Both my bull terriers, uh, Pike and Cash, are getting up there. They're they're uh, hitting nine years old. I think uh, Cash just turned eight, and Pike's eight, and Pike will be turning nine in October. And uh, it's nice to have a little bull terrier. And then uh, <laughs> to make it even like crazier, next month in July to July, I'm picking up a Doberman Pinscher puppy that will be replacing Leo with all the training. And this dog will be the new new guard dog of uh, the Beowulf Nation. Uh, so that's uh, it's gonna. I got my hands full. So it's like road tripping with a new uh, a little puppy. And I had to pack up the food with and all this stuff. And uh, hopefully the puppy can, puppy's got to go to the bathroom all the time. It's a good thing he's sleeping and we just keep on trucking. Now where I'm driving to, you see it's about a, like a 13 and a half hour drive. And I got a little bit later start because I had to get like 
online orders shipped out it make sure the trailer tires are good the jeep srt tires check check the oil level in my jeep check the oil level in my uh, uh kawasaki sxr i uh, had to get all this stuff done uh get the online order shipped out with i beowulf.com gotta get that little plug in but then the other thing too is i stopped at walmart and picked up a bunch of like uh waters and Gatorade so when I stop for gas I don't have to go inside a gas station to buy anything and it's also saves you money with doing that but plus with the coronavirus and I'm like traveling through like eight states or whatnot uh, that's why I posted up on my YouTube channel about how it's going to this area because I was hoping you know maybe any subscribers want to ride or wherever I'm going I don't even know what I'm doing because the crazy thing because I got a later start I'm not getting to my parents house to 7 30 in the morning i didn't leave to like five six and then or i think i left at 5 p.m today so it's no big deal i like the long rides and uh it's better to get there because the good thing is like when it's june uh june's where it stays the lightest the most so uh even though i'm getting there later you just gotta you know it's a little bit of sleep and then get all ready to go and do some riding go to a couple different spots tomorrow and uh, so i'm basically riding today's tuesday so i'm gonna be riding wednesday thursday possibly drive back friday morning maybe ride on friday and then uh drive back and then hopefully the flooding starts coming down a little bit uh that i can be riding next week back home that's kind of what the whole trip is and it's nice to see my family and whatnot i have i haven't seen my parents since the first of the year when I went to the Cayman Islands. So it's nice to see them and I, uh, it's hard with traveling right now with all everything going on in the world. So I think it's gonna be worth doing it. It's kind of raining and all that fun stuff and just put the Jeep SRT in cruise control and just keep on trucking through all this. And uh, get some riding in. I'm just like super, I think it's probably, the, like I was like, really itching about bringing the cd and the yamaha with but my biggest thing is it's, it's hard with learning all the maneuvering of what this stand-up can do when you're in the water with stuff that'll eat you i mean there was a woman a couple months ago she was by a pond and got eaten alive by an alligator and uh yeah hey i i'm not scared of nothing but definitely when you're trying to sit there and learn learn all this and you're like hey uh yeah I mean, there's stuff stuff might eat me so it's good to get out and get some riding in and then it, i got a whole video once i get back to with what is going on with my brother's yamaha way venture if you haven't seen some videos he was having issues going with all that and uh hopefully my cool thing is i hope when i'm out there i run into some subscribers and uh maybe we do some riding um, with their I know this like where I'm heading there have all these rules like you can't go in a store without a mask on the hard thing with South Carolina there's only certain stores like I was at Costco and like they're requiring everybody to wear a mask and I saw 10 people in the store that didn't have a mask on and got these huge bands on and I was like go to the manager and say hey you know like it's not safe if half these people aren't wearing masks in there and uh, they got these huge ceiling fans and wow who even wants to like and want to avoid all those like huge tribe high high traffic areas but i guess where i'm heading uh you can't go in and anywhere without having a mask on so i got my n95 mask with i got like i'm all geared up i brought my gas mask with and i'm a tactical gear and it's like yeah i don't know what i'm getting my you see what's going on in the world I, i'd rather be a little prepared traveling and uh it's cool like, these dogs definitely pike was in need of going on a road trip he did i've been really sad about losing leo i know the two volterries have been really sad to they definitely want to get out of the house and go on a trip somewhere and uh it's nice man look at that that jeep srt has a donut on the back and a big old pink fuzzy thing on the steering wheel but it's nice this jeep srt is pretty pretty dependable i'm almost up to uh, 55,000 miles and i got 876 miles left to go on this long road trip and uh just put her in cruise control 
and just keep on trucking through. <laughs>